Hello and welcome back to JVCTR, where today we're doing something a little bit different. We're wrapping my PS5. Now, when the PS5 was launched, as you can see, it comes in white, which looks great on all the show material and the marketing material and stuff. But the reality is when you stick it in a home environment, in the lounge, for example, it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. And uh, I think there's a lot of people who don't like that, myself included. So today I'm gonna wrap it in a slightly more subtle color uh, in the hope that it fits in with my lounge a little bit better. To start, we need to remove the faceplates, which is actually pretty easy because this is one of the PS5's party pieces in the sense that you can remove them to clean it and that kind of stuff. So quite simply, um, you want to put your finger underneath the PlayStation logo, which is where the sort of locking mechanism is. You bend up the plastic, which then removes the locking mechanism, and then you can push backwards to the bottom of the PS5 to slide it out. And that is pretty much as easy as that. So that's one down, and we've got the other side to do now. And on this side, uh, kind of the same principle, you want to go to the opposite side of the PlayStation logo, which is where you'll find the locking mechanism, pull up the plastic, and then push it down towards the bottom of the console. And there we have it. Nice and easy. So that is the panels removed, and we can now start looking at doing the actual wrapping. Now, what you'll need for this job is some panel wipe or rubbing alcohol or something just to make sure that the panels are nice and clean and that the vinyl sticks to it nice and stickily. Um, you'll need some kind of knife. Uh, ideally, you want a craft knife with a 30 degree blade. 30 degrees relates to the tip of the blade, which makes it nice and nimble. Um, maybe some of these. So these are micro squeegees. Um, I might use these for like round the disc drive because today I'm trying to go for a full wrap, like all corners and everything, so you can't see any white. Um, so I think I might need these for the more intricate parts, uh, but otherwise uh, a squeegee with some felt in it. Although if this is like a one-off project for you uh, and you don't want to go out and buy all the tools, which would be understandable, then perhaps just using a cloth, something nice and spongy like, oh, something nice and spongy like this will enable you to get a good old push down on the wrap. And uh, yeah, oh, uh, and some heat. So today I'm using a hairdryer when I, wrap stuff on the cars outside. I use a heat gun, but the heat gun gets insanely hot and has a very metal, like exposed metal end and I don't want to risk burning anything inside the house. So hairdryer it is for today. And last but not least, you need some wrap. Ta -da! Um, so this wrap is a brushed metallic wrap. I think it's brushed aluminium is its official name and it's by Avery Demonson and this is their Supreme range. Now, if you watch this channel regularly, you'll recognize this as I put it on my Fiesta. Uh, I put it on the bumper uh, and I put my logo underneath it so it had a nice embossed finish and it looked really smart. So um, yeah, that's what we're going for on the PS5 today and I think it will look quite nice against the stock gloss back parts. Now, the reason we're starting on the underside is because I want the this side to sort of come over and wrap onto the underside. So then hopefully you can't see the join when it's on the console. So thankfully, Sony have very kindly shown you where the edge of the console is by this mottled effect and then in the mottled effect like stopping, like it's quite obvious. Um, so what we're gonna aim to do is cover everything that's sort of like a mottled effect on the underside, uh, and then we can flip it over and do the front.
Okay, so that is the back done. Um, I'll be honest, probably not my finest cutting, um, but never mind, it's good practice. Uh, thankfully, all the edges that you see on here are actually gonna be covered. The inside ones are gonna be covered by the console itself, and the exterior ones are gonna be covered by the wrap on the other side, which is gonna be pulled over and then finished just the other side of these cups. So you shouldn't see these on the finished product. But right, let's crack on with the front. No. Now, in order to do the edges effectively, um, I've got a bit of an issue because ideally you wanna put quite a bit of tension on it and like really wrap it around and then apply some heat and all that good stuff. But there isn't anywhere to hold it. So I figured I would use a GoPro mount and stick it on the underside, which would then give me, hopefully, something to hold on to. No. And there we have it. That is our first side done. And it looks freaking awesome. I am so impressed with this. I mean, that's like transformed it. The only thing that's really annoying is inside the logo is obviously still white because I can't wrap right inside. So uh, I might, <laughs> might sharpie that, uh, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty good. Um, the corners actually, I've come out quite well. The corners are obviously the most difficult bit to do. And as you saw, I use a technique where you basically heat up the wrap, stretch it round, and then if you heat it for a second time, it will then contract back to its original position. Um, but it sort of like hooks around the corner. And actually, there's a few wrinkles in them, but they're, they're pretty good. Um, yeah, kind of impressed with that. Right, on to the next one. Now on this lower bit, um, I decided to do a bit of an inlay around the disc area. Uh, reason being is when we stretch over the top, I don't think I'd be able, well, I know I wouldn't be able to stretch the wrap inside here, which would mean that this would be like a little white lip. And I think that would really annoy me. So although that was quite a lot of effort, I think it will be worth it. And it's the same principles as over here. So when we stretch over it, the covering wrap should go up to the edge and we'll just cut it around there and uh, so I sort of cut around here and then fold it in and then that should be completely covered then and I think that will work.
finally, the bottom is done. And uh, that was a whole lot more difficult than I thought. Uh, as you would have seen, I did two attempts, which is not great. Um, this corner down the bottom here really caught me out. I just don't have enough hands to uh, stretch and heat and pull it in all the right directions. So if you've got a spare pair of hands, I would 100% recommend getting them. Um, but anyway, uh, I did okay. Um, unfortunately, I ran out of wrap, so I couldn't have another go, and therefore I've had to settle for a few wrinkles down here. Um, the other it's very slight issue I've got is um, on my disk drive where I did the inlay, I kind of overshot it a little bit, so you can see the edge of the inlay. Um, I mean, it's, it's a tiny detail, but it is there. Um, but otherwise, yeah, all good. And I have one last thing to wrap as a bit of a surprise. There we have it, my PS5 now wrapped and with a nice little blue logo as a cheeky detail at the end, which is also a hint at an upcoming video slash videos. Not sure yet, but anyway, stay tuned for that. So yeah, I mean, it took quite a long time, not gonna lie, and it's not that easy, but it's not something I would say don't have a go yourself because I actually really enjoyed it and I think pretty much anyone can do it provided you you know take your time so yeah I enjoyed it and I think we'll uh, we'll leave it there shall we if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of me cars wrapping that kind of stuff then feel free to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one I, I, I,